Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 6 is equal to x minus 2 whole to the power 6. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we move this x to the power 6 to the right hand side. So this will become x minus 2 whole to the power 6 minus x to the power 6 is equal to 0. Now this x minus 2 whole to the power 6 can be written as x minus 2 whole cubed whole squared minus this x to the power 6 can be written as x cubed whole squared is equal to 0. We have difference of two cubes so we use this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this will become x minus 2 whole cubed plus x cubed. times x minus 2 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0 and from here either this expression x minus 2 whole cubed plus x cubed is equal to 0 or uh, this expression x minus 2 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0. It means uh, we have two cases. This is case 1 and this is case 2. First we solve this case 1. Case 1 is x minus 2 whole cubed plus uh, x cubed is equal to 0. We have sum of two cubes so we use this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So this will become x minus 2 plus x. times x minus 2 whole squared minus x times x minus 2 plus x squared is equal to 0. Now this x plus x will become 2x minus 2 times we expand this x minus 2 whole squared this will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 4. Negative x times x will become negative x squared negative x times negative 2 plus 2 times x plus this x squared is equal to 0. x 2 times x minus 2 times uh, this uh, negative x squared will be cancelled out with this positive x squared and we are left with uh, this x squared. This uh, negative 4x uh, plus uh, 2x will become negative 2 times x plus this 4 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we move this negative 2 to the right hand side this will become 2 times x is equal to 2 and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that x is equal to 1. 
this is the first value of x this is the first solution of uh, this equation now from this uh, quadratic equation x squared minus 2 times x this 4 can be written as uh, plus uh, 1 plus uh, 3 is equal to 0 by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared this x squared minus 2 x plus 1 will become x minus 1 whole squared plus 3 is equal to 0 now we move this 3 to the right hand side this will become x minus 1 whole squared is equal to negative 3 and from here we take a square root of both sides so this square will be considered with this square root and we are left with x minus 1 is equal to plus minus root negative 3 next x minus 1 is equal to plus minus this root negative 3 is same as root negative 1 times root 3 next x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus this root negative 1 will become i times root 3 and we move this negative 1 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to 1 plus minus i times root 3 this is the second and third value of so from this case we get three solutions 1 and 1 plus minus i times root 3 now we solve the second case the second case is x minus 2 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0 case 2 is x minus 2 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0 we have difference of two cubes so we use this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared so this will become x minus 2 minus x times x minus 2 whole squared plus x times x minus 2 plus x squared is equal to 0 now this negative x will be considered with this positive x and we are left with the negative 2 times we expand this x minus 2 whole squared this will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 4 and this x times x will become plus x squared x times negative 2 negative 2x plus this x squared is equal to 0 and if we divide both sides by negative 2 this get cancelled and this uh, x squared plus uh, x squared plus x squared will become 3 times uh, x squared this uh, negative 4x minus 2x will become negative 6 times x and this remaining plus 4 plus uh, 4 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 6 plus minus square root of b squared will become negative 6 squared minus 4 times a is 3 times c is 4 divided by 
2 times a is 3 next x is equal to negative times negative 6 will become positive 6 plus minus square root of negative 6 squared will become 36 and negative 4 times 3 times 4 negative 48 divided by 2 times 3 will become 6 next x is equal to 6 plus minus square root of 36 minus 48 will become negative 12 divided by 6 next x is equal to 6 plus minus this square root of negative 12 can be written as root 4 times root negative 1 times root 3 divided by 6 and x is equal to 6 plus minus root 4 will become 2 and root negative 1 will become i times root 3 divided by 6 and this will become x is equal to 6 over 6 plus minus 2i times root 3 over 6 and this 6 will be cancelled out with this 6 here we are left with 1 and 2 1 times 2 3 times 6 so from here we get uh, 2 solutions uh, x fourth and fifth is equal to 1 plus minus i times root 3 divided by 3 and we first found x2 and 3 is equal to and x1 is equal to x1 is equal to 1 and x2 and 3 is equal to 1 plus minus i times root 3 x1 is equal to 1 and x2 and 3 is 1 plus minus i times root 3 so we have uh, 5 solutions of this equation 1 and uh, 1 plus minus i times root 3 and uh, 1 plus minus i times root 3 over 3.